Kuzma will step in at the four with Porzingis at center. Running at the wings, Beal and Avdia. And it's right in at the point guard. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Ball against Beal. Ball no good. Now Beal. Outside, Porzingis. And right kicks to Avdia. Now the pass to Persingas. Five to shoot. Kuzma can't get it to go. Here's MP. In Sacramento, he was nearly unstoppable. Down low to Rosen. And to Rosen throws it down. That's one way to do it. DeRozan shows off his aerial skills with the firm finish. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Now here's Wright, currently averaging almost six points a game. And the shot goes in from Chris Daps Porzingis. Well, this is what you want to see. It's 7-3. Kristaps Porzingis finished through contact. MP finds Vucevic. Good, and the assist goes to MP. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled in to what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Kuzma passes to Beal. Porzingis sets the pick for Beal. It doesn't go for him. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They went to Washington for the last meeting with the Wizards, and they came out with a win. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. I think there is no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, Billy Donovan gave me a few minutes. He told me they always have to be alert, and especially against this team because of its discipline and focus. He said we'll get embarrassed if we're inattentive at the defensive end. We must stick with our principles and do the little things. Kevin, they did win the first meeting of the season, and we'll see if they can get it done again tonight. Yeah, David, thanks. We appreciate the report. They're in a tough spot to try to figure out how to slow down those shooters, GA. Yeah, it's going to take a great defensive effort from all five guys. Should be fascinating to watch. I think part of that is making sure your effort allows you to stay connected to shooters. That takes two things, coordination and communication. Here's Santos. Drops in the layup for two. Six points for MP. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Wizards trail by eight. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So they're going to have a nice little run here. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Javante Green comes in for Tamar DeRozan. Alex Caruso is checked in for Levine. And it's Dosumu in for ball. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Pazinkas. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Martin's checked in for Avdia. And Morris subbed in for Wright. MP finds Drummond. Shoots over Beal. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Trying to end the drought. It's Drummond with the rebound. That makes him 0 for this quarter, and that has not helped their cause. Over to the wing. Beal against MP. Pass to Drummond. Shoots it up. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got three assists in the game. Outside, Beal. Ball 
A high post shot. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. But by a dozen for the Bulls. 14. This is two. Has been everywhere. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. Ball and Levine are the guard set. MP is out there at the Rosen, and it's Vucevic in at the five. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Levine gets the bucket. And sometimes in the closing moments, NBA games can slow to a crawl. Of course, you and I know that firsthand. Intentional foul. Replay reviews. What should the league revise in terms of that? The most important thing they did is take some of the replay reviews and allow some caucus to deal with it. That speeds up action. The fact of the matter is fouls and free throws at the end of the game are part of strategy. And yes, we need to be quick with replay reviews, but we have to understand this is strategic and important stuff that happens. Here's Levine, steps back and trains the jump shot. Levine's got five points now this quarter. Zach Levine working that mid-range game so easy, so fluid. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient diehard fans in the DMV, it seems to wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to win. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. So the Wizards five right now. Morris and Beal are the guards. Daniel Gafford is out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Brzingis in at the center. Shot clock at six. Unloads from 13, and he gets the jumper to drop. Yeah, Zach Levine makes these kinds of nights look easy. He has got everything in his offensive arsenal. Morris passes to Gafford. Kuzma with a screen on DeRozan. Beal against Levine, and the jam by Beal. Well, the creativity of Bradley Beal, incredible. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Passes it to Dragic. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Williams against Porzingis. For three, Levine. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got five assists tonight. The under duress of the shot clock, Levine delivers. Nice. Gafford sets the pick for Beal. Shot from 12. That one off the back iron and out. Now Chicago's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a galley win for the Bulls. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And you can mark this one down in the W column. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. What a selfless game. Great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. You know, over the last couple of seasons, it feels like the Washington Wizards roster 
is in constant flux. I mean, from role players to all-stars, guys coming in and out. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Drummond comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for Zach Levine. And the Bulls with possession. Rockets the pass to Caruso. Here's Santos. That one good for two. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Morris looking over the floor. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. Chicago Bulls win. The Bulls. 97. The Wizards. Any additional motivation in this one? You look like you reached an extra gear up. I wouldn't say I had a, any extra motivation, um, but you've mentioned analytics and Freddie Novak quite a bit recently. Is that your? Hey, man. Uh, my parents always talk. She wanna tell me she love me. I tell her I'm cool, so I tell her. Yeah, my little. Nah, she don't wanna hate me. She love me. Yeah. Like Dre too cool, Dre too big, Dre too nice. Like Dre too nice. Keep on assuming I don't correct you. Who you blow? No, no, no. Man, oh man, I can't believe we got the great Robert Miles here in our office. <laughs> it's an honor, Uncle B. <laughs> Honor's all mine, son. And after getting a closer look at your operation, I feel much better about moving forward with you on this. All right. It's a class act. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I did pick out all the furniture. Fascinating. <laughs> Gladly. Now, as we all know, we were initially set to move forward with Shep. Finally, we're also going to need a third national endorsement deal on anything within... Saw you on 2K TV, boss. Was Chris Manning as nice as he seems in person? What's the latest? Nate White just dropped with potential... So, so basically what I'm hearing right now is that Othella Akpin is considering offering MP in three first round picks wow. in exchange for Shep Owens. But I mean, the organization is obviously, it, this has this like internal debate about whether the price is actually too high, but this is what it's looking like to actually get the deal done. Thank you. It's about time. Bring Shep home. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, Perk. They'd be giving up a huge haul for a player they could have drafted just a few months ago. If I'm team president, Phil Boyer, I don't see how I can sign off on this. Are those picks all unprotected? Well, obviously it sounds a little ridiculous, right? But, I mean, from what I'm hearing, yes, you're correct. But a fellow Opkin was told, told to, to uh, quote, blow them away in order to get, make this well, happen. Well, he did. I'm sorry, but that's that's way too much. Am I the only one who thinks this is ridiculous? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. If Phil Boyer had let his GM do his job and draft the guy that he wanted in the draft in the first place, he wouldn't even be in this mess. Mistakes were made. Now clean them up. How did they make a mistake? MP looks every bit the prospect Shep does right now. <sighs> I don't see how, how I don't see how you can justify this deal without admitting that your organization is actually just in complete disarray. This is a mess, all right, but it has nothing to do with MP. Okay, I'm confused. Because what is this part about Phil overruling Othello? Well, apparently Shep was Othello's guy before. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually, because it always seems so personal to him. Othello has been using Nate to leak his agenda to the press. Right. So it's time. You, okay, you are good in any hood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know what? And it is kind of funny that the so-called Mr. Nice Guy mm -hmm. keeps on running his mouth in the press so much. Huh. See, he's trying to prove he's a baller with his mouth, but it don't work like that. No, yeah. sir. Yeah. And the only thing that bugs me is they saying this MP plus three first. Season 
five. There are four weeks remaining. Blackout bingo is currently underway. Time to head to the courts. Killing you, MP. Over here, over here. Nice game. Uh, hey. well, I guess we should, uh, and the Bulls start out with the ball. Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. Inside, they have Finney Smith and McGee. Manning the backcourt, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. And it's Quinn Smith. Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And what a haul they got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner, and he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. Now here's Dinwiddie. And Doncic puts up a deep three. No luck on that one. And the Bulls going the other way now. Outside Levine. Pass to DeRozan. Here's ball from deep. Count it. One for one to start the game. I really think it's important that, that shot becomes part of Ball's arsenal. He's got to get comfortable knocking down the three-point shot. Back to Doncic. Ball with the rebound. About a minute played here so far in the first. MP, the pass to Levine. MP against Doncic. And the basket by MP. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Dinwiddie. An aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. Three misses to start the game, still trying to break the seal on that hoop. Ball against Doncic. Ball passes to MP. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. MP's got six points. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Here's Dinwiddie. In his last outing, 16 points for him. The offensive rebound. A nice shot by McGee. And finally, a made shot. They look a little relieved after that one. 
Ball finds MP. And here's Levine. MP is screen on Dinwiddie. And there's a three second violation. Three seconds. The Mavericks have gone one of five to start things off. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Green. That shot missing. So the Bulls will take it the other way. They defeated Washington in their last game. <laughs> and in that game, they owned the glass. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Plenty of heart and hustle in that regard. I mean, they made sure to hit the glass hard and off. DeRozan and Chicago again with a bucket. DeRozan has a dynamic mid-range game. Whether he's wide open or being defended well, he can knock it down from there. And a different kind of score. DeRozan attempted 741 mid-range jumpers last year. Almost 300 more than anyone else. And he gets that one. He seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Green against MP. To the middle. And the dunk by DeRozan. You never have to worry about DeRozan going soft. I mean, when he gets inside, he's taking it strong to the rack. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. And Grant DeRozan with high volume from the mid-range. Room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half. Manning the backboard, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Inside, they have Finney Smith and McGee. And it's Green in at the three. Can hit from the corner. Chicago has gone three of four from distance in this game. Ball passes to MP. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, yeah, you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. MP, the pass to Levine. MP against Green. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Levine. Boy, Levine's playmaking understated. He can do it when he wants to, though. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. MP against Green. On the wing, Finney Smith. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Andre Drummond has checked in for Chicago. Four on the clock. And McGee with the stuff. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good positioning. Once he has that, dunking the ball is elementary. MP against Green. Yep, that one goes. MP's got 10 points. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. And it's Doncic missing. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Ooh, coming through again, shooting five for seven now. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Outside, Green. Three-pointer, no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. Green against Levine. 
Pass to Doncic. Dinwiddie outside. To the baseline, Jay. And he connects with a jumper. Doncic has got his third basket on the... I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Andre Drummond. And it's MP in at the three. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. DeRozan, a screen on green. MP, the pass to DeRozan. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got three assists now in this one. Here's Hardaway. Outside, green. Ball with the rebound. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Hardaway, no good. Chicago's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Down low. McGee with a steal. And they're on the run. Green, the pass to Doncic. Oh, great D that time from MP. For Chicago, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or you think that was an anomaly? I, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season, there's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. Ball against Doncic. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. And the ball out of play. The Mavericks will have it. At the line for Chicago. Joe Monte Green. Five ticks left in the fourth. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. win. The Bulls, 84. The Mavericks, 57. So, how you feeling, big guy? You nervous? I wouldn't say nervous, but you know, I don't do stuff like this normally, so I am kind of. Okay, well, we're doing this on speakerphone, so if you need any help, we'll be jotting down some answers on our phones mm -hmm. so we can show you. More like during. suggestions. It's most important for you to handle this in a way that feels comfortable for you. 
Mila, you know, I really appreciate your support, you know. Huh. Um, I know, you know, battling it out in the press isn't how you want to go about it. As soon as you made a decision, I was on. Um, okay, so I haven't really seen him interact. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, I mean, um, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.